Hey, let's give everybody one more round of applause here for sharing their talent. It takes a lot of courage to get up here and spit what's on your heart, what's on your mind. It takes a lot. Uh, now, back to what I'm saying, I joke and I play with y'all a lot, but seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I really, really appreciate y'all rocking with us and coming to these shows. It means a lot to see y'all. in the closet, not knowing that her son is in the closet. Soon she sticks her love in the closet, the little boy says, damn, it's dark in here. The man looks at the little boy and says, yeah, I know. The little boy says, um, you know, I got a bat. The boy, then the man says, okay, and the, man, the boy says, so I want to sell it to you. And the man's like, I ain't buying that shit. She says, my dad outside. So the man asked the little boy, how much do you want for the bet? The boy said $500. The man paid him $500. Boom. Week later, same shit. Cheating ass wife, little lover, husband comes on early, she sticks him in the closet. The little boy says, damn, I'm sure it's dark in here. All right? The little boy turns to the lover and says, hey, I got a, you know, I got a good uh, bet. Guy's like, shit, I already know how this goes. How much do you want for the bet? The little boy says, $1,000. Man pays him thousand dollars. Keep pushing. Father comes home a few days later and says, "Hey, son, let's go outside. We're gonna play a little catch, man, ball, glove, the whole nine. He said, "Dad, I don't even have it anymore. I sold it to some friends. Sold to a friend." So the guy, uh, the father said, "Well, hey, that's not good. I'm gonna take you to church so we can show that it's not right to sell things to your friends, right?" The father takes him to the church, takes him to the confession book, puts him in the confession book, and closes the door. The little boy say, "Damn, it's dark in here." The priest say, don't start that shit again. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so what? Uh, I need to hear this? If you don't like what I'm about to say, you can pay for your drinks now and you can hit the door. These tones will sound like I'm talking about you. Maybe you, maybe you, but it ain't true. It's for those who do the underhanded, sneaky shit that shifty niggas do. It's for those who turn their nose up when we meet, not knowing I'm the HNIC that can help that anorexic bitch ass nigga eat. It's for those who get those half ass daps, you know, the kind where niggas look off. But what they saying in themselves is, your mere existence decreases my value, so I simply wanna push off. But they capping like tighter than scorpion pussy on desert sands. Got you thinking that's my partner, my ace, or my wingman. 
don't have time for those type cats. Front like a hoe on OST on a late night track. Constantly pulling me down just so he can rise. I mean, well, shit, is your name dope boy? Probably not. But see, Mr. Reverse has some visions. He can slide your way, boy, to help your vision grow. But see, some of these cats need to take that plan B. Because they keep getting pregnant with this nigga gonna be bigger than me type shows. But what they don't understand is, hey, it's not a genetic trait. It's a choice. Probably because they're not sharing those green faces with their poetic teams that make them too want a voice. But I hear it all the time. I'm a boss. I'm a Don. I'm a G and yes, a real nigga for sure. But how is that possible? If every time you make a power move, the skirt drags the flow. But it's real easy to see. When niggas say they're keeping it 100, you gotta divide that shit by three. Nice. All right? The bitch in them gets a piece. The hoe in them gets a slice. Another one third, we'll just throw that in the trash. Cause one day he'll sell you out for some stankin' piece of ass. Niggas ain't shit. to the king. If you are a king making big moves and doing independent things, then you should have a powerful woman on your team who is self-motivated to motivate you while holding down her own. Beside you, she stands strong, making many key decisions. While you take one big important step to conquer this world, she's able to move in multiple directions for your benefit to help you rule the throne. That's if you a king. Because life is nothing but a game of chess. And if the queen is the most powerful piece of all pieces, then why quickly choose a foolish girl who makes bad moves? Mm. Don't base commitments on how she looks. I would suggest that you calculate this decision based on both of y'all positions. Then wisely choose a woman who has the right mental potential, plus your preference of other qualified credentials that proves she's at the top of her class and deserves to be treated like the best. That's if you're a king. Because this game was designed for you to make power moves. So you need a powerful woman in that corner of your castle with her own section of your game plan so she can seek opportunities to move your mindset in position to win when you think you're about to lose. But you must understand the rules because the universal rules of this game are still the same. Now some players are playing out of position so the integrity of the game has changed. But if you're a man and you're saying the position you're playing is the king, searching for your better half so she can become your divine queen, well then the better half of who you are shouldn't choose to settle for anything less. So if you are a king, I suggest stop falling for these tricks. Making the wrong decision will get you caught out of position. Now you're playing a knight in shining armor, making moves where you choose to sacrifice yourself to save a pawn who thinks she's a queen. Back. We're gonna do one more. Is that okay with you? 
Y'all ready for me? Tell me you want it. Tell me you want it. That's how you do it, baby. I talks to my pussy. Me and my pussy be having full-blown conversations and shit. Constantly gotta tell that pussy to behave. Tell that pussy, keep that K tight. Tell that pussy. Grip that tool, right? How that pussy do what she do? Give away kisses and don't even share with you. Bitch be like, he just wanted me to sit with him. On his face, that is. Maybe next time he'll bring his friend. Talking about that dick. <sighs> Bitch make me sick. Pussy be in a relationship with a nigga and leave you out. Talking about you too emotional. <laughs> Bitch, what's that all about? Pussy be on vacation every month like you don't have plans, things to do. She just don't give a fuck. Constantly gotta keep my cool. Can't get enough playing these games. Pussy can't even keep a man. Got me using my brain. I don't know what to do. I admit, when I play with that pussy, I be so in love. Thank of the man above like, thank you for this pleasure between my legs. She gave me issues, but... I wouldn't trade it for the world. She, that's my girl. <laughs> there it is. Now that's how you leave on some play ass shit. Not all that sweet flower and rose bullshit. <laughs> Sit your ass down, y'all. Y'all like that? Let me start with your ethereal hips and enjoy the essence of your soft, thick thighs. Staying into your beautiful bedroom eyes with beings in your creative mind. You need a man who respects the qualities of it. On the sky's lies with lies, respecting them more. You know that there's more to you than just hips and thighs. You're exquisite. Incredible <laughs> with an intelligent mind. You're pleasing to a man's taste. So this is in many ways. Even a blind man can stand next to you. Speak up, poet. And feel yes, that you're a blessing, brightening every day in so many lovely ways, making the day feel more hectic. Oh, yeah. You so this. All going down, you hold your own couch. Now let me get back to your hips and thighs. <laughs> the way you walk with the glide, the way you walk with pride, and you get what you need until you satisfied. You're a sensational, so this is clean. So can you do one favor for me? Keep up the good work on keeping yourself so this is. Thank you. Old school.
bro. Yeah.
<laughs> but when I'm in business mode, I'm in control, focus, capable of hitting every goal. Yeah, I got a deep faith. This is kind of preacher's wife. I like to take a little sip, wiggle my hips. <laughs> but I never forget who's in control. My friends say I'm a baller. Drive a nice whip. Threads on point. My crib is laid. Got to my own. In the mirror? Yeah, I like what I see. Stand back at me. My friends know, and my circle, when you come to me, it's never alone. show and for tonight all my ladies tonight y'all are my play yet all right and all my fellas tonight y'all gonna be my play yucks all right now when I say play yet that's the ladies can I spit I want y'all to say yeah and when I say play yucks that's my fellas can I spit I want y'all to say, spit that shit. Okay, y'all got that? We're gonna do one quick practice and, and let's see if y'all really got it, okay? Play yes. Yeah. Can I spit? Yeah. Play yes. Spit that shit. Can I spit? Spit that shit. All right, all right, all right, all right. My play yes on point, my play yes. Y'all gonna get wrecked, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right? All right, we're gonna do this for real. I ain't got that much time. Keep practicing with y'all. All right? Play yes. Yeah. Can I spit? Yeah. Play yes. Spit that shit. Can I spit? Spit that, that shit. shit. Every day I do a spit drill. Every things I spit real. Some cats hear me spit and say you spit ill. <laughs> and they don't even know how to spit feel. <laughs> see, you see, I spits and I moves that mic. My spits ain't all hype. I spits and don't have to write. Because when I spits, it's just me reciting my life. <laughs> now I know there's some cats out there that may spit for that limelight. And others that may spit to find a pretty young thing to go home with for the night. But you see, I spit so you can see my point of view and no one else has to define my life. Because I feel like I've been spitting for a long time. But none of this spit had ever made me a nickel or dime. So a few times, I had to put that pen down. Yeah. You, right there, just not clapping. You, 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 thank you. Here we go. Coming to the stage, we got none other than Miss Royalty. Yay.
under the moonlight with some sipping and licking, straight sucking and fucking, freak nasty, I'm tripping, our bodies come dripping, my hands gliding lightly as you slip each inch of you inside me, pushing, pushing, the sounds from the boom box, you coming in and out of me, ooh, damn, that shit feels good to me, I drop to my feet. Move my body like a snake. Then I climb back up top of him. My click game on fleek. My pleasure's unique. I'm leaving him satisfied sexually. Then I come. Now you can leave. Oh, what you thought you was the only one who could fuck with no feelings? You must have forgot. I'm Miss Royalty. I'm the queen of this shit. I have your feelings, feelings, feelings. Now we just talked about and just had sex. Now you want to call me what? A trip? Hold on, playboy. This was just all physical. Maybe if I tell him that his sex game was on point, he'll stop all this little bitch tripping. That nigga was straight mad. He straight hung his head. I said, I told you that Miss Royalty was cold in bed. He's sitting up there steady trying to plead his case, telling me that there's other chicks that'll be glad to take my place. I said, that's cool. They can have you, but I'm done with your ass. Next time, make sure that I'm mentally there instead of just physically in your bed. So I told him, suck it up, fix your face, wipe your mouth, don't be mad, and bow down to this queen and accept the fact that you've just been whipped by this royal good pussy. <laughs> That's a player tactic. Yo. She said, is my intellectual, she finds sexually attractive. Not knowing, I know exactly what type of man she wants. I simply adapted. Play a tactic. And I flip the script like an acrobatic as she tells me what I need to become the man of her dreams. All I have to do is reenact it. <laughs> now that I'm just her type, I can see myself being with her for the rest of my life now. Wifey type, right? But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, right. But to my surprise, no better yet to my delight, she doesn't even put up a fight. She opens wide and she takes another bite. And I, I continue to feed her need for attention, her greed for affection. I tell her I would never hurt her, never leave her, never mistreat or deceive her. And she looks at me and says, I would never do that to you neither. But me being the man that I am, well, hell, I really don't believe her. But she eats everything that I feed her. A spoon full of lies, and as I lie between her thighs, I lie looking into her eyes, and then I lie looking into her eyes. I tell her, this is your intuition that I find sexually attractive. Play a tactic. Flip the script like an acrobatic. See, she does to me what I ain't thinking I'm doing to her. The whole time she's allowing this to occur, feeding my ego to my head in the cloud, so the ego allow me to believe that I can control when really she know I'm the type of man that I am. She simply a damn play attack. As she tells me what I need to become the man of her dream, and it seems all I have to do is win acting. But the fact is that that when it takes to play the role is so like that of this scene by Eve, she convinces me. Forbidden fruit from the tree, and as I think I'm playing her, well, she's really playing me. So you see, behind her is actually behind me. And as we lie together, we lie together. Many we lie to each other, but the only thing is, is she lies much better. She tells me it's my intellectual. She finds sexual, really attractive. <laughs> Yo, running, you've been running, running, come on, and you've been running, and running, come on, and you've been running, and running. You've been running all night, got to feel this chasing. Yeah, I see you don't play bad, you baby, tricking the cake, yeah. But do you think, girl, cause I ain't hating? Hey, I've been sitting back, just watching and waiting. I wanna let you know what's been on my mind. So maybe later on we can have relations And you can play the doctor, you can be my patient Cause you gonna cut it like an operation And I'ma keep it real, 
I'm too grown for faking. I could care less about your man if you take it. I wanna feel that position is my application. You can tell if you gon' be this resignation. You got your own lock, but I'm plotting to break it. Take shots off, let me help you escape it. Lord have mercy, Josephine. Lord have mercy, Josephine. Lord have mercy, Josephine. The way you work, it's your looking good to me. Show me, show me, honey, show me, tell me, baby. Now you don't love me, pull it off. Let's give it a one more time. St. Nathan, Scott Free, Old School, uh, Tina She Left, uh, my man Duval. Hey, let's give everybody one more round of applause here. Yeah. We're sharing the talent. It takes a lot of courage to get up here and spit what's on your heart and what's on your mind. It takes a lot. Okay, uh, stand now. up, thank the man upstairs, and we can go. Please, First, giving on to God, we'd like to thank the man above for bringing this together safely and enjoying this moment that we can share together. We are asking for a safe return home for not just the fans, family, friends, the poets, everyone here, even down to the workers that are in this facility tonight. We'd like to thank the owners for allowing us to be here in the facility. The poet, again, is trying to grow. We appreciate all the things and the support that everybody gives. Now, all these things we ask in the man above, we say it together. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all for your time. Much love to y'all. I appreciate y'all.